Right now, you're right at Galaxy. That's where you are. Uh, 12 after 10 o'clock, 21 degrees. I'm kind of getting worried now, to be honest with you, uh, because my prediction for the day is 23. I've gone a little odd today, uh, because Barbara usually is odd, so I just thought, you know, I'll pip her at the post this time. She goes 22 degrees, which is only one off it. In fact, she's already there. So maybe one more degree and I'll win for the day. You never know. Uh, weatherman's prediction didn't stand a chance. Literally, we zoomed straight on past that as per normal. And, well, you'd expect it, really. Uh, so, nice to have everybody along this morning. Let me just uh, take care of this. Thank you. Uh, caffeine. <coughs> Cheers. Uh, when, when you stay at work at midnight, believe me, by lunchtime you live on the stuff really it's part of the it's another food group for me i've got to be honest with you so uh nice to have that but first of all let me do this Galaxy. Galaxy. that's right you're right here at galaxy 107 fm and uh for those of you well, I know you're going to be watching a little later on over in YouTube because right now Facebook and all the apps, you know what I'm talking about, Messenger, Instagram, yada, 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 all down around the world. They really, really are. So uh, don't panic. They're working on it. Really. <laughs> okay. Go and play a game. They're fine. Or better yet, tune into Galaxy right now because we have important people. And when you're over there on YouTube a little later on, you know what to do, right? No, you do. Sub, thumb, bell. Uh, bell for when we have notifications for important people, much like Joel Lee. Yes, coming out of British Columbia. I think he's on the island. Uh, I'll ask him that anyway, but right now, live, is Joel Lee joining us? No filter, right here at Galaxy. You're on Vancouver Island, aren't you? Yes, yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Damn, my memory's getting better. I thought at my old age I'd be starting to lose it. Yeah, I said, yes, <laughs> uh, he collaborate and write a song with uh, Chris Andres. Then yeah, well, I was leading to. Uh, you do know Chris Andres, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, well, if you don't, we can certainly introduce you anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know? That, yeah. He, he's a crazy old man. I love him. I really do. His music is absolutely superb. And I'm talking him in literally to, let's break the mould of the three minute or the, you know, two minute 30 song. Let's, yeah. let's go for six minutes. Let's, let's give you a guitar or something to really wind up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And he's doing it. Literally. His yeah. album's coming out. Uh, not a lot of them are in the three to four minute bracket. They're all starting to extend a bit now. I love that. I really do. Yeah. Because it gives yeah. me a good, fair feeling about the band itself and how capable they are a as totally. musicians. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. But that's just me being a, an engineer first and a DJ second. You know, I kind of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if we play Peter Frampton... <laughs> yeah. What well, six minutes of a song? Come on. Um, which is, well, I'm kind of hoping there's a hint in here somewhere that we're going to get some um, band stuff coming from your way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're planning on rehearsing this winter. I mean, with the COVID thing happening, you know, it's been pretty, pretty chill as far as the live music scene goes. So I haven't even bothered to try and get my foot in that water just lately. I'm just going to be building recording you know what i mean getting mm -hmm. it's a fairly new project for me right? it's been uh, we started the jolie project just before COVID hit and then so i've been dealing with that the whole time but it's okay you know what i mean getting youtube numbers up radio plays up all that kind of stuff and then hopefully next year it opens up for us right so yeah, yeah absolutely let's go to the desk bro all right Yeah, 
That's right, Joel Lee right here at Galaxy. Let me do this. <laughs> Oh, look at you. you got no filter. Here is Joe Lee, the man himself. Is it Brandon Marshall? Is it Joel Lee? Hold on. Is it Joel? Will the real Galaxy artist please stand up, all one of you? Hello, Joel. Welcome back. Hey, Grant. I'm glad to be back. It is a pleasure to have you, my friend. And, uh, well, I, I don't see any new tattoos on you right now. No, they're all under my pants. I can take them off and show you, but that'd be a bit weird, maybe. Yeah, kind of, you know, but... Sorry, the women in the room just went, go on! <laughs> show your ass. No! Yeah. <laughs> show, show your ass. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I, I think What's you asked for that more than I did, Doesn't to be do honest with you. Yeah, <laughs> Very cool. It is so good to have you back again, my friend. It really, really is. Uh, first of all, let me, say, um, let me ask, how's the family? Are you all good? Everybody's good. Everybody's growing. I've got another grandson now. I had a granddaughter. She's two. And now I have a grandson who's six weeks old. So, and so shout out to little Jameson. <laughs> you know what? Congratulations, my friend. That is Thank fantastic. You. New life. Love, love, love new life. Uh, believe me, yeah. I really, really do. Uh, but I love it when it's somebody else's new life, not mine. I don't, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> believe me, I had to bring up a couple of puppies. That was bad enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got one of those too. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh, now, my friend, we opened up the show with no filter. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. today, uh, the internet is doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Of course, Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, the whole deal. Uh, down around the world, which is uh, phenomenal, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, but... <laughs> So therefore, they have no filter right now, but uh, Joel, tell me a little bit about this track, because believe me, we're still getting a huge amount of requests for this. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so I Know Filter was written by Doug Fulton's, Vulcan, sorry, and Aaron Steenhoven, and they're, uh, Aaron, uh, I believe he's in the States, Doug's here on the island as well. Um, I was, uh, when I re went to record in Nashville, um, we needed one more song, and so we decided to look for some pitch songs, and that one was pitched to me, and I liked it, so we... We did some, you know, some tweaks and changes or whatever, but in essence, it's still the same song, and uh, really enjoyed recording that one. That's one of my favorite ones on the EP for sure. Well, I got to let yeah. you know, we have known each other well quite a minute now. I got to be honest with yeah. you, yeah. still on my playlist in my car. Nice. I I really have, and believe me, I really do have Joel Lee on my playlist in my car. I still, to this day, love, love, love some of the older stuff, but at the same time. Uh, you know, this party ain't over, bro. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> we are <Where's> right. <laughs> exactly. It really, really is. So, uh, well, maybe now that we've mentioned it, maybe you should fill us in. Tell us a little, about, uh, a little bit about This Party Ain't Over. Okay, so uh, when I wrote that one, I, I have a bunch of songs from the EP still, and mostly I write love songs, melancholic songs, that kind of thing, right? So I wanted to lay the groundwork for Jolie with a bit more upbeat, up-tempo songs that people could grab onto before releasing some of the other more mature material, I guess you would say. So I was thinking about the next song and what it's like, so I thought, oh, you know what, when you go to a country music festival around here, whether it's Sunfest or wherever, we played there and it's a four-day party, so... Day three, you're hungover, you're hurting, you know what I mean? So it's, it's uh, you know, it, it takes a lot to get going. So you got to cowboy up and start up again. So the song's about that. It's about the West Coast. It's about your good friends. Um, we have a short summer here on the island. Um, so you try to make the most of it. So generally speaking, um, day three, you're hurting. So, you know, but the party ain't over. You got to make the most of it. So that's kind of what I was trying to grab uh, in a nutshell, you know? Well, we've been playing it, well, a little while, I got to admit. <laughs> and, you know, they love it literally yeah. do love it and uh very very impressive and too uh, we have you in on a sunday and literally we get inundated with joel lee requests especially this brand's making new one that we're going to be releasing around the world today yes this party ain't over right here at galaxy <laughs> <laughs> 22 degrees, Barbara, you wouldn't even say, Barbara. I only need one more to catch it. Yeah. 
will drop out. Oh, no, it won't. It will. It won't. I have faith. Oh, well, we'll see. I do. I have faith. Oh, What's the well, temperature? It's all right. Uh, I think okay. currently now it's maybe 17, 18 degrees. Okay. So it's we're cool. cooling we're, off. Yeah, we're relatively about the same yeah. right now, aren't we? Right. Yep. So you guys are going this way, to... and we're going this way. Yeah. Because you're going summer, we're going into fall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Forward into summer, back into winter. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you, do you get snow where you are? Occasionally. It's not, it doesn't happen every year, but I think this year they're calling for quite a bit of it. So uh, we're in one of those seasons where it's supposed to be a pretty cold winter here. So. Well, I'll tell you what, whoever's calling for it, I'd give them a slap in the ear. <laughs> Stop calling yeah. for it. It worked. <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh my gosh. Uh, for everybody that's joining us this morning, I really, really do appreciate you. I really do. Unfortunately, around the world right now, Facebook and all the um, social medias are having a few problems. So if you catch up with us on YouTube, it's an absolute pleasure to have you along. It really is. Oh, by the way, Joel, uh, you know what we do after this? We take some photos and... Barbara puts everything together, makes a movie and everything for you. Mm -hmm. This time we're going to do something a little different as well. Okay. Yeah, we're going to turn you into a cartoon. Okay, sweet. Who do I get to be? Superman? Uh, no, no, you do. Well, you know, superstar Joel Lee, maybe. <laughs> um, but seriously, it's one of the few things that actually makes me look good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I got the perfect face for radio, right? <laughs> you could be using me, Sam. Well, I could. We are. No, I don't like rabbit that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> my, my voice in my head is looking at me sideways right now, going, "Are you going to mention it? You better not." <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Let's go back to the desk, right? That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Absolute pleasure today to be joined. Coming off the island, literally in British Columbia, is Joel Lee. Now, uh, Joel, just before we get back into it, and believe me, I love the ending of that. I really do. You know, the dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's something about that I really, really do like. But, yeah, the stomp clap. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, just before we get back into it in a, any sort of way, How's the studio go? How's the tattoo studio going? It's slammed. I mean, uh, you'd think uh, things would slow down with what's going on in the world right now, but I think everybody is just looking for a bit of an escape, and no, no better escape than a little pain. So, I've been slammed. So I'm, I'm booked solid till September, October next year, um, wow. which is good for, good for the bank account, but not so much good for time off, right? So it's like my life is set out before me for the next year. Well, you know something? Congratulations. At least you have gainful employment, I've got to be honest with yeah. you. Uh, so, yeah. really, really well done. And uh, I wish you all the best in your endeavours, as you know I do. Uh, so, uh, uh, one day we have discussed about getting you over here to New Zealand. One of mm -hmm. these days, I've got a friend with a few guns. I'm going to load you up and let's tattoo Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice big boy. panther. Nice panther or something. Oh, no, that's not me. <laughs> oh, she hearts. She's a heart girl. You know oh, what I mean? Heart girl. Yeah. Uh, a panther uh, eating a heart. No. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, uh, now you're talking my kind of language. You really are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, because, believe me, I'd be up for one as well, to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but I find them rather addictive. I, I, as soon as I get one, I want another. And, yeah, no, i got to... I hide myself a little bit on that stuff, you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Yep. So, uh, well, you know, there's still a bit of skin here that hasn't been attacked yet, and you know, yep, okay. Let's stop there. Uh, but in the meantime, 
Joe, we are going to have to move on again. Now, are we going to see you anytime soon? Maybe a little bit, you know, been a long time between drinks, let's be honest, bro. A year and a month. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you reckon? Are we going to get some new music anytime soon? Absolutely. Well, this fall, I plan on releasing my first ballad. Well, No Filter is a bit of a ballad for sure, you know what I mean? But it's it's not, it's still a little bit mid-tempo, whatever. This next one's called Thank Him. And uh, uh, it's a song that I'm very close to. So I wanted to hold off on releasing any of those songs until I, like I said, I'd laid the groundwork. But again, uh, this party and over was fun to do. And I got to self-produce on that one as well. So I got to express myself the way I wanted to. And I'm really happy with that. But this next one... Um, Thank him is it's a heartfelt song, you know, and when I wrote it, it has a lot to do with my own personal relationship. So when you're married for many, many years, thoughts go through everybody's mind. And I just wanted to grab what it's like to be the guy on the other side saying to the guy who lost the girl, you're an idiot, bud. You're such a fool for letting that amazing woman go. And that's kind of what keeps us bound to the ones that we love because we realize their value. And that's kind of in a nutshell what that song's about. Yeah, uh, you could convince me of that, but the wife's over there sitting there going, no, he's just good for slapping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever works, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, by, by the way, i got to let you know, uh, this party ain't over. Uh, all the ones, 1,111 requests so far and climbing. Nice. Yeah. That's... Thank you very much, New Zealand and the area. I really appreciate everybody there, for sure. Well, Thank it, you. actually, it isn't just New Zealand. We are global, literally. We're in every country in the world. Right now, there's uh, 79 countries in the world tuned in. So, nice. so believe me, and including Mumbai, India, nice to have you guys on board as well. Uh, so believe I'd me. I'd like to say hello to the whole planet then. Hello, whole planet. Hello, Earth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, yeah. maybe in our name, you might get an idea. We're part of the galaxy. You know what I'm saying? That's fair. That's fair, yeah, yeah. You know, there's radio waves going out there from when I very first started, you know, <laughs> yeah, radio right. way back there, just reaching Pluto right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was when your beer was a lot shorter. <laughs> well, you know, Moses was just a young fella as well back then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you do know that Moses was one of the very first internet users in the world, don't you? I feel a joke coming on. Well, yeah, okay, fair enough. Let's start with Adam and Eve. You know, that everybody says it starts there, right? Right. Okay, well, they had an apple. <laughs> Uh, the thing was, back in those days, it wasn't very good because it only took one bite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah well, on. you know, then Moses comes along. There's a lot of references in the Bible about, you know, internet using. Literally, Moses comes along. Uh, now, as you know, back when he was around, when I was, you know, sort of, you know, hanging around, uh, your signal wasn't that good, so you had to get up high, right? Yeah, yeah. So he goes up on top of a mountain, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now don't forget, what did he download from? The cloud. Yeah. Down onto his tablet, right? Tablet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't get me don't get me started, bro, believe me. Oh uh, by the way, uh, just before we uh hang up on this one, uh you're not a vegan, are you? No, I love meat, boy. Yeah, I'm a meatologist as well. Yeah, uh, believe me, I ask everybody this uh, simply because um, have you ever tried a vegan sausage? No. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to find out if they're made of real vegans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you can understand the disappointment when I found out girl guide biscuits weren't made of girl guides. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. <laughs> Okay, anyway, don't go anywhere just yet, my friend, and thank you for that. You're right here at Galaxy. It is Tuesday, October the 5th, yeah, 11, 28, right here at Galaxy.